Papa Chris, cabbage on pigs, think, think, pink gators. My Detroit players, Tim's for my hula games in Brooklyn. That's head right, get the head right, big <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mark Harmon from www.marklove1769.tumblr.com featuring the Atlas Roller from atlasfoamroller.com. Right here, what you're seeing is you're seeing me just after I did a pull-up set, set of 10, I am really loosening up my lower back and upper back. So I'm just getting a wide range, getting those shoulder blades really well, the top of the shoulders, and just really stretching out so I can get ready for that next set. Pull-ups can be done practically anywhere. You just gotta start doing them. The best thing that uh, I can tell you to do is get a partner to help you out with the pull-ups, to help get that part, or that partner will put their hand under the feet of the ankles and assist you up to where you can get one, two, three, ten, and then that's how I started. Trust me. It's worth it. Right here, I'm grabbing that bar, and what I was doing is you grab that bar, and then you're really focusing on one side or the other. So I'm dropping set here right after pull-ups. I'm going to be stretching out my lats because that's exactly what I'm working out when I'm doing pull-ups or a similar type of exercise. So I'm going to be going, uh, you know, in other videos you saw it, but the right, the left, and we want to always finish up in center. So anything that stretches out the that muscle, the target muscle, you always want to focus on you know, stretching out that muscle, really bringing in that uh, blood and that stimulation to the muscle. And in past videos, you saw that. We're just reminding you of the transitions. So, you know, always focusing on one side and the other, left, right. Always make sure you get really good stability with the Atlas Roller. Always make sure that your hands are stable and, and, um, and ready to catch yourself if you lose your balance. What I just did was a little bit of oblique stretch, nothing crazy, and it's, it hits the lats a little bit. You see the triceps, how I go to a 90 degree angle with the arm, that's the upper arm and forearm, see that 90 degree angle? That's going to be stretching out your lat area, your obliques, you know, you get a little bit of chest tightness, but anyway, main, main thing is just the sides, the obliques and the lats. That's a lower back stretch. You always want to stretch really well. That's going to reduce your soreness at least by 50% during exercises. So in this, I just finished up with a shrug in the Smith machine. So I'm real tight up there in my traps. So anytime you're lifting anything, uh, anytime you're you know using you know, stabilizing muscles, I mean, I'm telling you, your back is going to be tight. And so it's always good to get on that wall. I'm on the mirror here, but the mirror is great to show, demonstrate to y'all exactly what's working. Because you can see my form, and you can see other muscles working at the same time. So don't just think this is just for the gym. It can be anywhere. So see how I'm getting that lower back really just leaning into it. And um, right here, I'm transitioning to the, a different angle on the shoulder blade. So that would be more like, I don't know, like if you would call it about a 60 degree angle. Or actually, that's more like a 45 degree angle. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Just making sure that you really get in those, like, those areas, those divots or those, those small little creases where you really feel the most tension. And I'm just digging in into that side. And, and the reason why that this is useful is because the, the Atlas Roller is, you're able to control the Atlas Roller more. A uh, regular foam roller, you cannot control it like you can control this Atlas Roller. And so that's, that's the difference between this and a generalized foam roller. But anyway, you see how my hands are always on it, controlling the angle. So you can have it at any angle you want. 
on that wall, find it, and then just dig into it. If you can't find it, try it again, do a different angle. And I, I promise you, as long as you're leaning into these things, as long as you're really trying to, you know, push against, you know, those back muscles, I promise you, you're going to benefit right here. This is going to be a lower back, just kind of tin. Uh, your set. You can also do something I call a bear hug with somebody else, but this right here is, is generally effective. And so you just really push into your lower back as you're standing and you can go all the way to your butt and you can roll out your butt too. And actually it feels pretty good. So, um, you, I mean, your butt's a big muscle, so, you know, don't be shy about it. So there we go. And I'm going to be doing my neck here. So the neck feels fantastic. I suggest turning your hat around if you have a hat backwards. And, but anyway, the neck is always tensed up. And what you're going to see is I'm going to go to the right and the left side, really pushing into those nerves, those nerve bundles. It's those nerve bundles that are really carry the tension. So believe me when I tell you, it, um, it's very relaxing. So, And you see how I'm grabbing that bar? I am grabbing it underhand and you can also grab it overhand. You can choose uh, one or the other, but I prefer overhanded. Uh, underhanded, you just kind of get a little bit different angle. Underhanded is better for the, the right or left side. So you go all the way down to the traps. See how I'm focusing on that region? Mm-hmm. So yeah, right, left side, and then you can go all the way to the top of the head, and then right back down. Really like pulling in. I mean, you're not gonna hurt your own neck, so you know, don't be scared. It's it's feels pretty amazing. Never had any complaints. Then after you do that, you just kind of, kind of like, you know, go back and forth, side to side. Feel how loose it is. Kind of feel how calm and relaxed you are too, after you, you know, achieve that. So, and then you can transition to the from that neck to the lower back. Again, pushing down the two areas where you carry a lot of tension is your neck and your lower back. Everybody knows that. It's with posture, it's with like sitting at a desk all day, school, work, you know, whatever, carrying the kids. You always have that tension in your neck, in your traps, and then on your lower back. It's always just, I don't know. Anyway, I've had a lot of, I've had uh, a lot of people uh, thank me um, because it's helped with a lot of their tension from their kids. So right here, where I was pointing at, I am doing the oblique area. So you see how I'm grabbing that? One's upper hand, or overhand, one's underhand. I really suggest you do it the way that I'm showing you there, but, um, but if it's comfortable another way for you, you, feel free to do it to comfort. So I'm just showing you hand placement. So in coming up, I'm gonna, there is a specific way to hold that right there for the best uh, form, but you're gonna see how it's gonna be more of a uh, overhand, and then the, you see how, yeah, overhand right there, and then you see where I'm going back at a 90 degree angle, kind of like throwing my elbow back. So we're, right now, look at my left arm, and how that's overhand. That is the best form, and you get the best kind of massage to that oblique area. You can do it that way. I don't suggest that. So try it first, the way that I demonstrate, and then you know if you think there's a better way, then try it. But yeah, digging into that side, really breaking up that fascia. I mean, there's so many layers right there with the obliques. And so I'm going to be doing my lower back and my neck. So that you remember just a few minutes ago, I did the lower back standing and a little bit kneeling. And then I also did the neck uh, standing and, and kneeling. But here, you can just do this at work or anywhere sitting. It's pretty awesome, right? And so you see that angle right there? So what you're doing right there is you're just getting, you know, just that area that's, you know, everybody's trouble area. 
but anyway there's a lot of tension that's built up there so you definitely want to loosen up the whole back but like I said you can do it while sitting just you know doing the office or at home even when you're watching TV or something yep it only takes five minutes so there's the neck see how I'm focusing on the right side now left and and really getting that neck loose again I'm, I'm feeling great so I'm gonna be focusing on core to finish off my exercise. So I'm making sure that I'm stretched out and I'm gonna be doing uh, some pretty tough core. It's manageable for everybody, but you know, those little planks that everybody hates, well, that's coming up. But these are working your, definitely your obliques, your sides, those really like tough areas that everybody complains about. So this is a really good way. You see how my arm's placed right across? Okay, that's my left arm's placed, you know, parallel. And then my other arm's stabilizing me. And again, same thing, switch. So right arm is about parallel. And then the left arm is stabilizing. Can't do this on a regular foam roller, people. <laughs> It'll slip out right in front of you, or right, right under you. So, right before I'm about to do the, this is the hardest type of plank. So, that right there is a push-up position. Tough, even tough for me. So, I'm gonna go to the regular one. I'm not ready for it, but, um, but these are just as good. And because of the steel rod, you get a uh, really good uh, tension and in that foam roller. So you get real, it doesn't sink in at all. It just, it keeps you stable, keeps you up there. Want to head down, crunch in. You can cross, I like crossing my wrist right there. It really does help. Breathing in, deep breathing in, breathing out through your nose. Now, what we're doing, oh, what I'm doing here is I'm putting one, I'm getting kind of tired, so I'll put one knee down, one leg up. Actually, that's an interesting one. You still get a good, you know, type of pull or type of, you know, uh, contraction there and I'm yeah after those planks yeah I'm getting tired I'm not used to planks so but anyway here I'm gonna be doing just uh, regular uh, the ab workouts that we had I had shown you I'm gonna be going side to side with it I'm gonna be going to the left the right uh, typical of of past videos that you've seen so these are my absolutely favorite. And see how I'm grabbing the bar right there, like always, keeping stable, making sure I'm keeping on the lower back. You can work, it gets more difficult as you work up your back. Try to only barely touch that ground and come right back up. It's like the seesaw motion. And yeah, th these obliques are a killer obliques, but they are just so, I mean, they are so effective. Uh, you know, I can't brag on them enough. They've helped my core uh, a lot, and I well, I'll keep doing them. Plus, it's convenient. So keep holding on to those handles, making sure it doesn't slip out. If you are advanced, you can go ahead and um, arms or the get your arms inside. Your head can actually go in. Your chin can go in, or your uh, chin can go out whichever way you're comfortable, but when you're looking up and out, it's actually a little bit harder. So we're finishing up. We're gonna be just really relaxing that right there. It's always a good idea to finish a workout or anything before you go to bed, when you wake up. It's always a good idea to stretch that back out one more time to uh, distribute all that lactic acid, anything that's built up from the day before, from the day, and remember the, the proper way to sit up and stand up on the Atlas Roller. All right, check out atlasfoamroller.com. Visit me on my Tumblr, and I hope to see y'all. Push subscribe for me, and hope y'all enjoy the workout. See you next time. Bye.